Hey guys, happy September 8th. We are in Orlando for the next four days because we had to evacuate for Hurricane Irma. I am pretty nervous for our home, our hometown, all of South Florida looks like as of right now, it is pretty much gonna hit our hometown. So fingers crossed that it continues to go east. <coughs> but I'm in the bathroom right now because Brian was on the phone. But um, today is day one of my little mini cut. Nothing extreme. My macros are still really in an awesome spot. Um, today is a workout day and I'm still eating 200. I'm starting with 255 carbs. Awesome. Only like 45 carbs of a difference from my bulking macros. I just wanted to give you like a little physique update to show where I start for my little mini cut. I will have Brian do it though <laughs> because okay. it's just easier. Will you just Let's see where's a good lighting? This is what I'm starting with. Still almost shredded. Almost shredded. No, you're shredded. I mean, you got abs. All right. So this is my starting point for this little mini cut. And I haven't had anything to eat, so I'm hungry. This is my breakfast. So I have two slices of Ezekiel bread. I am cutting, so I want to make sure I am getting legit macros. And if you weigh Ezekiel bread, it's a, it weighs a little bit more than the serving size. So that's why it looks weird. I just weigh the bread and then I just like kind of take a little bit of the crust off. The bread should be 34 grams. When I weigh it, it's 37. Honestly, that doesn't change the macros at all, but I am a perfectionist and I want to be legit. On my bread, I have whipped cream cheese. Um, just so you know, whipped cream cheese is less fat than low fat cream cheese. So look for whipped cream cheese. And then I have like an egg scramble with roasted red peppers, one egg, four ounces of egg whites, and then some pico. I will put the macros on the screen for you and I'm gonna eat this because I am so hungry. Day one of my cut. This cut's gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna like lean out a little bit, nothing extreme, just kind of doing like a little pre, like a, I guess like a mock prep to see like what, how low I need to get my calories in order to drop some fat. Um, I am pretty lean still with this bulk that I've been on. Um, I weighed in at 119.6 pounds for the beginning of this cut. Callie, we brought her with us. Um, oh. But when I eat a lot of food, I feel it in my face a lot and I'm honestly just sick and tired of feeling kind of bloated and puffy all the time. I'm eating so much food and I'm excited to kind of like cut it down a little bit. 300 grams of carbs is a lot. 72 grams of fat is a lot, so I'm excited to kind of take the volume down a little bit actually, which I never thought I would say. <coughs> but I'm gonna eat breakfast because I'm so hungry. I will see if I can um, film a little bit of our workout today. I think this is just gonna turn into a full day of eating for my new cutting macros. I wanted to show you guys my pre-workout meal. So I, you saw my breakfast. I am doing some work right now, so but I'm hungry again. <laughs> course so right now i have 179 i know it's random but that's just what i like weigh out 179 grams of sweet potato and 100 grams of chicken it smells like bacon and i don't know why does that smell like bacon Hell yeah, i have no idea why this smells like bacon maybe it's this okay the best seasoning you will ever ever spend your money on South African smoke from Trader Joe's. This is seasonal. It just came back. I bought three so far. I will, but I'm gonna stock up because I don't know why the hell this is seasonal. It is unreal. I don't know what it even is. 
it's not spicy, but it's smoky. Paprika flakes, paprika flakes, which you guys know how much I love paprika if you watch my meal prep. Sea salt, garlic, and basil. That's it, but it is so good. And I think that's why it smells like bacon. I don't know, I don't know. But that's what I'm gonna eat right now. I wanted to show you guys a little bit. So we are in Orlando in preparation for the hurricane. We're here to, it is Thursday today. This is our, we got in late last night. So this is our first full day on, this is Thursday. We leave on Monday. And I hate going away. I hate vacation. I hate being out of my routine. I'm such a weirdo, but I fucking hate it. So, I, and we can't eat out for five day, five full days every single meal. So we always get an Airbnb. The kitchen is very small. There's no oven. There's only like a hot, like two, I guess it's like a mini stove. I'll show you. This is the kitchen that we're working with. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's gonna do. We have two burners, a microwave, coffee, toaster, and then dishwasher that is it but <clears throat> i brought everything with me like we had to so i brought all my vitamins my greens powder i got we got almonds because we need to get non-perishable items so these are amazing habanero barbecue if you've never had them and then these are new gojujing almonds from trader joe's i see these all over instagram so Wanted to try those. We have Lenny and Larry's cookies, cereal, uh, just like corn puffs from Trader Joe's, oat bran, a ton of these flavored tuna packets, which believe it or not, I'm actually excited to try. Like I, I might even have one today. I really want to try them. Our box of Power Crunch bars. We have some water in the freezer just in case we lose power. Um, we want to keep the freezer as cold as possible. I have Ezekiel bread, Halo top, obviously. This is legit, like this is a packed fridge. We brought all of our meal prep food that we had so far. Corn, salsa, guacamole. This is the whipped cream cheese that I used this morning, less fat in the whipped than the low fat cream cheese. You would think low fat cream cheese would have less, but nope, always check. This has 4.5. The low fat had five, not that big of a difference, but still. Uh, water, sweet potatoes. We got two of these from Trader Joe's, just chicken strips already cooked. Brian has beer. More meals. This is a whole thing of quinoa. Bacon for some fat. Spinach for some micros. And then since I am now lower carb, but I want to get my volume foods in, we have five bags of butternut squash. I don't have an oven, so I'll just have to cook them on the stove top and like soften them in the microwave. I will show you guys all of that when I make my dinner tonight. And then I also got some of these butternut squash zigzags they look like little french fries they're super cool and then got some cold brew coffee in case we lose power and can't make coffee that's gonna be a catastrophe uh all, total zero rockstar walden farms egg whites i'm addicted to roasted red peppers right now and um yeah that's pretty much it of course, I ordered protein powder last week, over a week, over a week and a half ago. I don't even know. And it's still not, it just shipped today and we're in Orlando. So that sucks. We have no protein powder. We got these, I got these beef sticks from Trader Joe's. Just straight uh, six fat, nine protein. God forbid we can't cook anything. Got some protein. And um, a ton of water over there. Callie's here. Bailey is being boarded in Orlando right here. Uh, we just, there was no dogs allowed in this Airbnb. No pets, but we snuck Callie in 
but Bailey with barking and taking her for a walk, we would have got caught, obviously. So I am gonna get to eating and do a little bit more work. And then it's shoulder day for me, but I'm not gonna bring my camera along cause I just really want a good intense workout. Filming your workouts is not easy, just not. So I'm gonna eat, work, work out, and then I will show you my post-workout meal. I'll show you some cooking I do here. And um, yeah, that's it, bye. Hey guys, back from the gym. I am so excited right now because I finally have found, I'm trying to take my hair out, purple sweet potatoes. Purple sweet potatoes have been like the new thing recently like that I've been seeing all over Instagram and social media. I'm like, and I cannot find them anywhere in my stores in South Florida. And so I was, I search every Publix I go to for these things. So I got two bags. Oh my God, I'm so excited. They're mini little ones. We don't have an oven here. So I'm gonna, when I start editing this video, I'm gonna be like, Christina, oh God, whatever. There's a hurricane. That's my excuse for looking like fucking shit. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the vlog. And this lighting overhead is the worst too. But I'm gonna take you through my post-workout meal that I'm gonna make right now. So my only option is to cook my purple sweet potatoes in the microwave, which I've never done before. So I looked online and it said about like eight to 10 minutes for like a whole potato that you stab all over with a fork. These I, I quartered or I halved. So I'm just gonna do it for like five minutes and then maybe just like crisp, crisp them up in the pan. My pan is heating up right now. We found these super cool. I'm gonna put this down. Holding a tripod makes your like, I just trained shoulders today and I'm like, so sore. I don't know why, I don't know why Orlando has like the best Publix that we've ever been to in our life but we found Halo Top Candy Bar, which I've been searching for. And, oh my God, this, these potatoes are making the craziest sound. Um, and these mini chicken sliders, they're seasoned. So, like easiest cooking ever. And the serving size is two of them and they're good sizes. And the macros for two are four fat and 22 protein, so that's exciting the lights are flickering oh my god then another thing i've never seen at my local Publix is these bee free they're gluten free rolls we have the bee free wraps but i've never seen the rolls before for one roll it is 21 carb and one fat five fiber amazing i always look at fiber when i'm going for carbs so for my post workout i'm gonna have one little mini chicken slider and then I'm gonna have another little slider on the side with some guacamole and salsa on top with a side of purple potatoes. How amazing does that sound? I'm so excited. So let's get cooking. Brian was just telling me that like he admires me for like my dedication to creating like yummy meals when like in a situation like this 
let me tell you last year during the hurricane oh, okay so a hurricane was supposed to come last year hurricane matthew and nothing happened but we got disgusting foods and just all this wine like nutrition we made cookies and like brownies with ice cream on top it was a fucking free-for-all but like i mean i'm cutting right now cutting for me i i'm I would prefer this over a fucking brownie any day. I don't care. Two slider, one slider, and then one little guacamole salsa slider with a side of purple potatoes that look absolutely bomb. They're like charred and. Uh, Ryan said to taste one. Taste one. I've never had one before. I don't know, they might be really hot. Oh, never mind. They're really hot. Oh, I'm sorry, I spit that. It just tastes like a white Yukon gold potato. That's all it is. But it's fucking delicious. I'm gonna eat this, I'm really hungry. I will show you what I eat later. My meals are like really random later, but I'll show you. Dinner time now. I am doing so good at showing you guys everything I've eaten today, except there was a Letty and Larry's cookie that I split in half and had half of it pre-workout, half of it post-workout. I forgot to show you that. But I'm doing good today. I'm proud of myself so far. It is dinner time. It is seven something. 7.09. It's been about, what babe, what'd you say? Like three hours since my last meal? Four o'clock, maybe less than three hours. It's, I get hungry very often, but I'm excited to show you guys about my cut, whole cutting process. Even though my macros will be in a very good spot, this is just a very minimal mini cut, just kind of to, see how my body reacts to certain foods in preparation for my first bikini competition next year. Um, but I made this on Sunday, my Mediterranean quinoa bowl and I brought it here. So I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna enjoy this right now. Still enjoying my quinoa bowl during this cut. First day of the cut is going well. I'm staying full. I'm, I've loved all of my meals today. So far so good. I have not moved from my chair because I'm trying to work and get as much client plans done that I can. I have a, a, a good amount of girls starting like in September as the weeks go on and I just want their stuff done for the most part because I honestly don't know if I'll have power or if I'll be able to work on my computer if my computer dies. I just want to make sure everyone gets their stuff and not having to wait on me just because of this dumb hurricane. So just grinding and working. Brian's laying down looking really comfy and I'm super jealous, but that's okay. I'm gonna eat. I hope this video hasn't been too boring just watching me eat and stuff. I'll get better. All right, night is winding down. Still working, but I'm almost done. We're laying on this like awesome little like day bed. It's so comfy. Look at how it it's so comfortable. My last meal, so this, I haven't been planning my macros like ahead of time like I usually do because of this whole situation I'm in. So my last meal's random, but like I'm super happy about it. I love deli turkey meat. So all I have is not even two full ounces, but wanted to let you guys know that I do get deli turkey, but it is higher in sodium usually, so I get the 47% lean boar's head turkey breast. They do have a 99%, not, did I say 47% lean? 46% lower sodium. 46, it's actually 47 in my fitness pal, I don't know. Oh. It's 40, I think it's 46 or 47% less sodium, not less lean, I think that's what I said. Less sodium. They do have a really low sodium one and it does not taste good. You need that sodium and sodium's not the enemy. And I also have a serving of Goju Jang almonds from Trader Joe's. Never tried them. But I'll let you guys know how they let you guys know how they are now. I hear they're spicy and I love spice, so. Oh, they're super mellow. They're not spicy. They're like smoky. They're good. They're good. I like the chili lime cashews from Trader Joe's better. One thing. We're watching this show, Fool Us. Penn and Teller Fool Us. 
on the CW. We don't have cable, so this is like a huge treat. So I'm gonna go and watch this. I love it. Check it out. Hope you guys like the vlog. Bye. Wish us luck for the hurricane. I'll keep you updated.